$100,000 US dollars every three weeks is quite a lot of money. Da -da 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 -da. In this screenshot, Paul shows that he had already felt that the funding was going to be cut. So the narrative I'm seeing that I set out to defund AV is just not true. Paul knew it was already a strong possibility. Paul felt it wasn't fair that they were being asked for a level of transparency that other orgs were not having to give. I said I thought this was a fair point, but I explained that the donor was not as concerned with other orgs as he felt they were open within without him having to ask, and that it was AV being scrutinised at this time because of the controversy and the donor needed his doubts about AV specifically cleared up. I finished by saying that I felt there were other people in the movement who wanted AV cancelled, but I wanted to help them to continue to receive their funding from this donor. It's important to note that in 2019, Paul and Sal received 1.2 million USD from this same donor. But five minutes into their first podcast, Paul did say we weren't receiving a large amount of money till this year. We weren't receiving a large amount of money until this year. Really. But 1.2 million USD is still a large amount of money, especially when it's coming from one donor. But either way, the point is the donor was requesting to know how this was spent. The day after that, I asked again if they had reached a decision. He responded by saying this. After this blunt message from Paul, I stopped my communications with them. Paul and Asal then sent an email response directly to the donor, refusing access to their charity accounts, instead offering an accounting support, and the donor decided to part ways with them and to cease funding. I'd like to finish this video with a possible solution recently brought forward by the donor. As the donor was not originally satisfied with Paul and Asal's offer of an accountant's report, he is now willing to consider resuming their funding on the basis they agreed to a deeper, more detailed financial analysis that could be conducted under the donor's directions. This would be with specific objectives that would answer the donor's concerns about how his 1.9 million US dollars since January 2019 was used. 